So now we're gonna be imagining here in our business that we're gonna be renting out some of our uh, guitar equipment. So this is another kind of business stream that we're thinking of putting together within the business. If I go back on over to our flowchart, note that if we're looking at the customer cycle, at the end of the day, we expect revenue to be coming into the business. Now we have multiple ways that might happen. If the easiest way, if it was gig work and you just got paid by YouTube, like a platform or something, you can wait till it comes through, possibly using bank feeds and record the deposit. If you're at a cash register, you'll typically want to use the create sales receipt and then record the deposit. And if you have to invoice because you're in like an accounting firm or a law firm or landscaping where you have to do the work first, invoice the client increase in the accounts receivable, you'll do that, then receive payment and then make the deposit. So in our case, we've been thinking about a cash register situation primarily when we sell the inventory or we've made invoices on the sale of inventory. We've talked about situations where someone might come in and order a guitar and we might take a down payment for it, in which case we got a payment before we create the invoice. And we talked a little bit about a situation, a job cost kind of situation where we're applying out the billable hours in like a guitar lesson type of situation, similar to a law firm or CPA firm that we're then billing clients for. So now we're thinking about a, a different concept, which is going to be the rental income. So now we're going to imagine that we have our equipment. We started up the business. We've got the equipment put together. We've invested our capital in the equipment, and now we're going to be renting it out as another source of revenue generation. So the process with that is that someone might call us in, we're going to imagine and ask for some kind of set of, of rental equipment for possibly a band. And then we're going to uh, invoice it and rent it out. But we're going to, when we make the estimate, want to collect possibly a deposit, a down payment so that we are committed to the rental process in the future. And they're more likely to follow through with it. So we might make an estimate. We might receive the payment first in terms of a deposit, and then we will create the invoice when the actual rental transaction takes place. So that's the 